Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Visio to create a resource schedule. This example is a staff task list. So down the left hand side, I've got a list of people and these are the tasks that they're involved in with the dates on there as well. And you can see the whole process goes through like so to the week four. So what I'm gonna do is recreate this on a separate sheet. Now I've actually created a few customized shapes and these sit in my resources stencil, which I'll be using, but I will add another shape in there just to show you how I did it. The data that is displayed, if I click on this shape, is this data, shape data, and I'm using data graphics to display inside each of these boxes. And I've already done all that in these. So when I pull one of these on, for example, it's already set up for me. So if I go onto a new sheet and go back to the cross-functional cross flowchart shapes and create myself a swim line, or swim lane. So I want four of these, so let's just go for four. These just snap into position when you bring them on, like so. And I'll just, when it says function, I'm just gonna do my people, Dave, Carol, Steve and Bob, so I don't have to type big long words. The title for this could be Staff Tasks. And then what I need to do is put some weak dividers in. So I've used this separator tool to just give myself, comes up with phase phases so you can just position this however you want it and then you can either widen it or shorten it however you want the whole thing when you first set it up is set as a phase and then if I sit on these little dividing you can move it across like that and then you can sort of make it equidistant if you so wish and you can see it, the way I'm doing this now it's going on to a second page so I'll just bring that out one that last one back in a bit I probably made that a bit too wide but you get the idea I hope I'll bring it back in a little bit okay I've brought that back in so now you just name that so I'm going to name that week one to five just double click and type the number so I've got all the numbers in now to bring a shape on I'm just going to basic flowchart shapes there and then this is the process I want but I want to edit this one so by default, I've got the shape data window open. That's the default shape data. I just want to change some of this. Now, if you want to see the shape data window, if I close that off and it's not displayed, you've got two options depending on what version you've got. You can go to the data tab and tick it, shape data. Or if you haven't got the data tab, you can go view task panes shape data and each one of those will bring it into view now if i right if i want to edit this i need to right click on the shape so i'm right clicking i'm going to data define shape data so this is that list there look so first of all i want to change process name from number to text because i'm going to have that as the uh, process number it is i'm going to have that as task task name and it's a string and I want it at the top. So sort key for this, a one task name is number one. Then after that, I want, let's have a look. I don't want owner, so I'm just going to delete owner. Function, I'm going to change as resource. So I'm just going to change that as resource, resource. And do that there. So both the label and this can be resource. And that's the text string. So I've got task name, resource. So I want task name is going to be at the top. Resource, I want to be second place. And then coming down, you've got the start date. Now the start date is set to US. Now I'm going to put that to English. Now sometimes when I've done that in the past, it defaults back to the US. It's sitting down there, US, even though my default setting is UK. And when I change this, it's not having it. So the dates is shown sometimes as 
American dates. So if it doesn't sit like that and stay like that, you probably need to put this to text. So what I'll do is on the start date, just to show it, I'll put that to text, text string, and there's no default, and that should be okay. And then on the finish date, I'll, I'll just leave that as it is. I'll put it to UK, just to see if it works on this example, and leave it on date. So start date, I want to be in the third position, and end date in the fourth position of this list. So status, I'm happy with status. So if I click OK, let's have a quick look at that. So that flicks around and you can see it's changing there. So if I now move this into there, nothing, it won't let me open this stencil or edit this stencil because it's a, it's a preset one, but I've got this resources stencil. And if I go to more shapes, and that's where you create it there, new stencil, and then you can open it from there. So that's all I've done. And then you can just drag any shape in there and it'll sit there ready to be pulled back out. Now, before I do that, I want this information. So if I just put task name, if I call this um, induction, and that's what I want this task name to be, I can't see it in there. What I want to appear in there is the task name start date and end date that's what i want to appear now to get that to sit in there you need to use data graphics which is on the data tab and then advanced data graphics and then you're creating a data graphic so it's new item and i'm going to choose um, task name that's what i want to see and i want it as text and i want it on the left hand side at the top and i don't want a label so i'm going to get rid of that label that's the first thing I want. Click OK to that. Then I want the start date. So you've got start date. I want that as text. And I want that on the left, but this time in the middle, but no label. It's up to you whether they have your label. I think the labels just take up too much space. And then the last thing I want in there is the end date. Or you could have the status in there, whatever you want. So end date, text, it's displaying as text, even though that one is set as a date. So left, and this one's going to go to the bottom. Again, no label. So that's how I want that to be. OK, OK, yes. So now it's just showing me that. Now I want this to go, if I go back onto the Home tab, if I zoom this up a little bit so you can see it, come across just click off that so you can see the name induction so if I just delete the name for now so it's got nothing there in fact I better put it back in so I can change the font and everything so you can see it so at the moment the font is black I want the font to be white so I'm going on the, a white font and I'll do that for that one as well you have to click on it individually I can get that there we go and then each of these is going to be white I can get in there that's it and I also want them to be on this side so I'm just going to click back on them and even though it's on there it's the, the labels in the position even though we're not showing the label it's it's in the way so you just need to do that again that is how I want it so now I can push that into my stencil let go yes open it and then it comes in with a name and I'll just call this master one now if I bring this back down again I'm ready to do my little diagram if I come back down and bring that across a bit so we can see it so I can now bring master one into there and I'm going to put the start date as today so remember the top one is um, as text so it's 03 of the 10th 2022 now let's have a look how it does this date so I want this to be 05 of the 10th 2022 let's just click away from that 
you can see they've come through there so so far so good that's sitting as it should be because that is an that could be an American date that could be the fifth of the tenth or the tenth of the fifth but at the minute that looks okay but it's when you do a date that would not be right in the American format that that would flag up but that's okay and I want to copy this I'm just going to use my control key to copy this down for everybody so I'm going to say everybody's doing the induction copy that down and again and again so everybody's doing the induction I'll just push that one back a little bit so it lines up so now everybody is got done the induction so now staff training I want another shape so I'm bringing the master shape in and put it in the top box this time I'm going to extend it all the way down to the bottom that's what you do with the cross-functional flowchart in this case it's no longer induction it's just going to be staff training and the start date will be the 10th of the 10th 2022 and the end date will be the 15th of the 10th 2022 click away from that 15th of the 10th so so it has it's, it's maintaining the date format at the minute so that's good now I want some more shapes so for week three this one is going to be finance training and that can be start date the 25th of the 10th 2022 and the end date can be the 30th of the 10th 2022 so that's 30th of the 10th 2022 okay so that one's working okay and then I want to copy this down for everybody else but the and they're going to change the labels like so so it's going to be admin training for that person this person's going to be sales training and this this is going to be admin so I'll just fill the rest of this in and then we'll go through doing the um, the links. Okay, so I've added all the, the shapes that I want to add and I've just done a different shape at the end there for everybody can start operations. So the shape data will be displayed there. You've got the status for these. If this is, um, you could put this not started. All these could be set to not started. I could have done that on the default one, not started. And I actually did leave the word induction in there, which I should have took out, but never mind. So now I need to do the connections. So if I go to the connector tool, hover over the, each shape, go from one shape to the main shape. Now, if I click there, it'll let me come back to this. So I can snap all these into the same place. And very quickly, that gives you an idea of where the flow is. Coming out of there, do the reverse to each of these sections. Now, when I click there, look, it's it's wanting me to do, if I click and drag it on move, so I need to click off and then go over it again. Click off, go over it again. And then each time I do that, and it should be okay, you should be able to do this sort of diagram. Coming out, that's just a straightforward line. If none of these, any of these lines are not straight, you can just move the shapes. That's how I do that, and then the same thing with this one snap it into there, click away, snap it into there. In fact, this one's okay because we come in from an empty connection point like that. Once you've done all that, you take that off, and then to use this, you're just clicking on this and using the, the shape data. Um, so you could go in progress on that one. You haven't got that information there, but if these boxes are a bit bigger or you made it a bit bigger, you could put some more shape data in there but whatever you want you could just have the title and the progress if you want and not bother with the dates if you know that's a five week process the whole thing but that's just using a cross functional flow chart as a staff list and you're resourcing individual uh, tasks so that's all I want to talk about in this little video hopefully that was of use thank you for your time I'll catch you in the next one